Buongiorno e benvenuti. My name is Giovanna and I welcome you to my kitchen on the cliff. Today we are going to make a specialty of the city of Modica. Modica is in Sicily, near Ragusa. The Monday after Easter is a national holiday in Italy. Everybody takes their leftovers from Easter and additional delicious things and they have a picnic. These are called Tomasini. And Tomasini are, I don't know, best described I guess as rolls filled with sausage and ricotta. And they are absolutely delicious and quite easy to make. They require very few ingredients. Our recipe will call for three cups of flour, all-purpose flour, a half a cup of shortening, and two eggs. Now, traditionally, this recipe would have been made with lard. You needn't be afraid of lard. Lard is a fat, very much like butter. It's an animal fat. So uh, I have this recipe in my cookbook, Sicilian Feast. And in the cookbook, I say that you can use half shortening and half lard. Today I'm going to use only shortening. It doesn't make any difference. Either one is going to give you a very good dough. And we're going to do it in a food processor which will make it much easier and much more practical. The filling is equally easy. The filling is ricotta, just the way it is, and Italian sausage, Italian sweet sausage. Now I've talked about this before. This is what I call Italian deli ricotta. It is not the ricotta that you buy at the supermarket. The ricotta from the supermarket is perfectly fine for many dishes that you will do or for eating on top of toast. This is a much drier cheese. It's also more tasty. Try to buy this in an Italian deli rather than a supermarket. I'm going to measure three cups of flour. We're going to use half. I'm going to cut it in smaller pieces and I'm going to put it directly into the food processor. I don't have salt in the cookbook for some reason, but I'm going to add some salt because I think I should. So now we're going to pulse. We're going to add the eggs. After a few pulses, I'm going to add a half a cup of water. Once the dough forms a ball, it's done. Now I'm going to knead it a few turns. Now we're going to let it rest for 10 minutes. Did I tell you that this is one of the most useful things in the kitchen? This is a bench scraper. You notice I just cleaned up all the extra flour a way of carrying ingredients, but mostly this is used working with dough. So we'll put it here for the moment. So the next thing we're going to do is to take the skin off the sausage. So we're going to cut it. So all we do is peel off the casing of the sausage. The casing, of course, is edible, but we want the meat. We don't want the casing in this dish. We're going to sprinkle some flour on our board. And down the dough. I'm going to shape it more or less like a rectangle and then I'm going to start rubbing it. We want a thin rectangle. This is like pie crust actually. Very similar. Very easy to work with. If you're curious about the size of this, it's about 14 by 18 inches. So it, you know, it doesn't have to be exactly that, but that's a, a ballpark figure. Now starts the fun. We're going to make a checkerboard of ricotta. So that's about a pound and a half of ricotta, between a pound and a pound and a half. Now we're going to make our checkerboard by putting sausage in between the mounds of ricotta. Somebody will probably ask why not spread it? You could spread it, but I, what I like about this is you maintain the contrast between the ricotta and the sausage. And I think when you eat it, it's just wonderful that you have a bite of cheese and a bite of ricotta. I'm using up all the sausage by just adding more to each mound. 
Now we're going to do a jelly roll kind of process. Right? Okay, now we're going to cut this. I'm using a serrated edge knife so you don't press down because when you press down something like this, you, you squeeze the filling out. So use a, a good serrated edge knife. So as you could see, this really serves an awful lot of people. So now I'm going to start with the end and I'm going to put it upside down. Uh, this is a nonstick pen, but I like belts and suspenders. I like to spray it anyway. Now we're going to brush each one with egg very generously. It really sort of closes them, you know, makes a, a wonderful glaze. All right, as I did with the sausage, I'm not going to waste this egg, so we just do it a second time in some of them. We don't waste anything, so if you have a little bit of egg yolk left over or a beaten egg, you just distribute it. So these are the Tomazzini. They're going into a preheated 400 degree oven and they will bake for 40 minutes. And then we'll look at them. If it needs another five minutes, we'll give it another five minutes. After 40 minutes, we take them out of the oven and here they are, perfectly done. Now you've learned how to make Tomazzini. Make them often because they're absolutely delicious. So today we made Tomazzini, a specialty of the city of Modica. And I'm going to tell you about another specialty of that city, and that is chocolate. When chocolate was introduced to Europe by the Spaniards, Sicily was under the rule of the Spanish kingdom. It was called the Kingdom of the Two Sicilies. And Bonaiuto still makes chocolate according to the Aztec recipe, which is very interesting because it's made with no butter, no cream, no milk no dairy products at all. It is chocolate and sugar melted together so that the chocolate melts completely and the sugar remains crystalline. So it's, it's kind of crunchy and extremely rich. So it's, it's a naturally kosher product as it, as it turns out because it has no milk products at all. So these are the famous Bonaiuto chocolates which you can now buy all over the world, although they're rather expensive. So when you go to Sicily, don't forget to go to Modica and don't forget to go for the chocolate. Thank you for watching. The recipe can be found in my cookbook, Sicilian Feasts, but it is available to everyone just under the direction box. No, what is it, what kind of box? <laughs> and it can also be found in the description box just below. I hope that you make the Tomazzini that you share them with your friends, that you send me pictures, that you enjoy them. Please like this video and subscribe. Bon appetito.